Hi guys, it's Army. And today I'm gonna share with you my master set. The master that I'm using according to my chant champions. It's only my suggestion, it's only my usage of masters and I will explain why I chose this masteries and what you can do in order to adjust it to your game style. So there are a few masteries that I think everyone must have in this those masteries. So we have strength mastery, the one greater trends, we have pierce, precision, we have the precision mastery and cruelty master. I think both of those masteries should be at rank 5. So this is the basic masteries. Now I put two points on courage and this is a pretty cool mastery. So if you health above, below 50% you will gain more attacks, so if it max you will gain 20%. I put only 2 points and I will show you why only 2 points. So also the mastery, this one, uh, there are 3 options, uh, so if you max it, it will be 50%. And I tried this mastery, I also saw a post about it, so that says in Reddit, maybe it's not true that it's enough to put one point that will uh, ignore all armor because critical do ignore armor but maybe it's not true anymore but I put only one point, point on this uh, in this mastery now th those masteries the next set is very important so the first one is despair you need to put it just to unlock the next one and then the first master that I really like is deep wounds I'm still playing with bleed champions like Wolverine, he's my go-to champion in Lion's Quest, Archangel and Hawkeye and many other bleed champions. So deep wounds is pretty cool mastery, it increases your deep dura bleed duration and also if you have more health, it will automatically take health from opponent. And if you have blade, blade is amazing with deep wound mastery, so if you have blade I suggest you to put 5 points. Here, if you're using Blade or in Alliance War on other content, I've put only three points because I still <laughs> have a maximum points that I can use. Another mastery, a great master, is Assassin. So I used four points here, and this master is, I think, one of the best in the game. So if opponent just below 18% health, and now then we have percentage, you can see it. Uh, your attack increased drastically and also accuracy ability duration reduced so you can you have a chance for example to prevent regeneration uh, of uh, Iron Man with this mastery so it's a pretty cool one and it's not for specific champions and for all champions I used to run glass cannon but I don't really like this mastery so you pay a lot of health for only 7% attack increase Maybe for a very long fight, this master is pretty good, especially for if you're doing Labyrinth run. But for a usual content where all the fights are pretty fast, I'm not sure this is a good master to invest points on it. But again, it's only my opinion. So this is my offensive tree, 25 points. And now we're moving on to my defensive tree. So there are basic masteries here that you need to unlock. And let's start with self. So here it put three points on this mastery, and you will say three points. And this mastery, you see here, it increases health four points twice per second, so it's eight points. And if you have maxed will uh, max recovery, and this is what I did, it will recover ten points over six seconds. So every fight you can recover six hundred HP. So, for example, in Alliance Quest, if you play good without parry's intercept, or even with parry, this master can recover you pretty good over a couple of fights and keep you keep you going. So, I really like this mastery. I increase recovery, and this is very important master, especially if you have regenerating champions. And now let's move on. So. Block proficiency. I put a four points on it. I think it's very important. My uh, mastery. It just if you blocking, it have a very good chance to reduce the amount of block damage. Also here, perfect block. I put a three points on on this mastery. It's have a three percent chance to have a perfect block that is zero damage. It's pretty good chance. And some champions like Captain America, it will increase it drastically. 
I removed this mastery. It's a good defensive master if you use uh, if you need your champions for lines for defense. Base attack. Uh, it helped me in the past, but I'm not usually blocking. I'm playing very aggressive usually. So and heavy just rarely managed to cut me. So I decided to remove points from here. I also have still two points on willpower. I think it's still a pretty nice mastery. It works very good in lines for specific nodes and also in questing. So I have two points here. So this is my defensive tree mastery. I unlocked this one. Just if I will do a legend run, I tried I think once with Voodoo, and Voodoo is not a good champion for legend run. <laughs> and the last one is utility tree. So here. I have 3 points on Limber and will explain why. I have 3 points on Parry. Dexterity, I think Dexterity 1 points and more than enough. You don't need to put more because just a waste of points. It will have only increased critical rating for 1 hit. Just a waste of points. And Stupefy, I maxed it. So Stupefy, it's a very very good uh, mastery if you parry your opponents. It will increase the parry duration so it will help you in the Lion's War on some Limber nodes, also in Labyrinth of Legends, pretty good mastery party. If you take it to level 3, it will reduce damage drastically and we can increase the stun duration. As you can see here, it's up to 2 seconds, so it's not going to be a 2 seconds, sometimes be less, but let's say 2 seconds also reduces damage by 25%, so I suggest to put out 3 points on party. And here I put the 3 points on Limber just in case I'll mess up and I will go to parry it. For example, if you fight against uh, Black Panther of Civil War and you get parried uh, by his uh, armor, just counter parry. And this can save you, save you drastically. So 25% chance to reduce it. Another great mastery is. Uh, is this one pacify and if you have points and you are not investing in other masters I think this one you should invest this mastery have chance to reduce a special abilities any abilities by 20% and if it's maxed by 30% so let's say you fight against magic and she almost got one power bar you can parry her and then attack and you will have 30% chance to prevent limbo and this also goes with Thorns node and also all the shock from Electro. So it's a pretty good mastery and I really really like it. Especially if you're doing wars, I think you should have this mastery. This one, I had in the past 2 points on it, but it's just not so critical. It's just have chance. You just reduce the power gain and, uh, and regeneration by 10% when you power your opponent. In the past I have this detect signs, I think you should remove all detection because it's just a waste of points and Kabam never uh, gave us compensations, very expensive mastery to unlock and they gave zero compensation. Now you don't really need this master because you can see the, the type of nodes in Alliance War and you also know the maps of Alliance Quest. And here my uh, lovely master mystic dispersion i'm collecting for rank level 5 but rank 4 is more than enough so every buff that expire have i will gain 8 percent power and i love to play with mystic champions you know voodoo my number one champion so it goes well with voodoo so this is my mastery tree this is what i'm using to clear my uh, war paths and questing with a minimal uh, usage of items. If you guys have a suggestions or question which mastery is the best, comment below and see you soon guys on my next video.